because it's like, oh, like, who am I to spend five hours every week meditating and going to the gym or whatever? But, you know, it leads it leads to much better productivity and just like we're just more pleasant to be around as well. Yeah, well, this is also a learned experience. I I know to do these th things now because of the stuff mm. that I've gone through to get here. You know, mm. when I first started out in sales, I got hospitalized early on because I had literally burnout on the job. Um, mm. I had a panic attack early on because of it. And it was because like I thought the approach to life based on all these influencers and gurus at the time, I thought the approach to life was hustle your face off until you get results. Hmm. hustle your face off until you get success grind your you know your evenings your nights your weekends away until you become a quote-unquote millionaire or what it's or you know whatever it may be and it wasn't until i realized that the people who are actually at the top of their game are not following that hmm. they are not hustling and grinding their faces off to reach success they're actually being very intentional with what they're executing on a day-to-day -day basis they're being very precise and systematic with the way that they approach their business their sales cycles, whatever it may be to, to actually be at the top of their game, because you can mm -hmm. only work ethic yourself so far into success. At some point you can swim as hard as you want, but if you're going the wrong direction, it doesn't really matter. At some point mm -hmm. you've got to combine work ethic with systems, frameworks, processes that lead to actual success. And when you look at the top, whether it's, you know, you got a couple of books back there, Tony right. Robbins, you know, Alex Ramosi, a uh, bunch of these other guys, like they've got systems in place mm. for their mindset or their habits for the way that they, you know, approach their time, energy, and focus um, in order to, to really get the best out of them because they know that we all have a battery, right? Mm. And so making sure that battery is as healthy as possible, as charged up as possible, as renewable as possible is uh, sort of one of the most important indicators of true success in my mm. opinion. You know, so switching gear a little bit, uh, I was spying on you a little bit and I saw you have a pretty big uh, TikTok following. How you how were you <laughs> able to make that happen? <laughs> that That's a funny story. 